and she, and she had spirit and energy. Because she died of it, it makes her look like some kind of victim. No, not at all. She did all she could to help herself. When I was going out with Linda, she did cartwheels all the time. One of the songs Linda wrote after she became ill was, I can't do cartwheels anymore. Lynn loved canoeing, sailing, swimming, music and acting. Then it was like everything changed overnight. Her legs were paralysed. She couldn't move her head from side to side. She was tube fed all the time. I trained as a nurse and a midwife. I've never ever seen anybody suffer the way Sophia suffered for all those years. Linda's lying in a darkened room, in so much pain I couldn't even touch her. She looked so grey and so still that her brother said, Naomi looked dead. This is as important as any other significant major illness, whether it's cancer, heart disease, AIDS. It is a complex, chronic, multi-system illness. Some doctors don't believe in it, and if you don't believe in it, and you, your patient has it, then there's a problem. They didn't believe that I was physically ill. My suffering was belittled and undermined at every turn, really. I was made to feel like I'd done something terribly wrong. She was thrown out of a medical practice. They just said, you know, in our opinion, you're depressed. One doctor just said, you're afraid of standing. It didn't have to make sense because they were the doctors and nobody was going to question them. This girl suffered abuse at the hands of professionals. She went into hospital moderate and came out six months later severe, needing tube feeding. It is not a psychiatric illness. It's not a illness which is associated with mental and behavioural disorders. The psychiatrists that were involved with Lynn nearly destroyed her. I was I was denied any any say in anything that happened to me. Her human rights were literally thrown away. These are true horror stories where the families have really been abused by the professionals and by the court process. Uh, none of them have ever had any restitution, apology or damages. We have a national catastrophe on our hands and we need to face that fact. I just wish the media would allow proper coverage of exactly what Emmy can do to you and what it did to Lynn, how ill she was, how broken her body was, and it was Emmy that did that. It was Emmy that destroyed her.